And we are back with Attorney General Josh Stein. He's talking COVID-19 scams and ways to keep your money in your pockets. At one point or another, we've all had to get a COVID-19 test, right? Some of our viewers have reported paying hundreds of dollars for a test. So what should they do if this happens? This actually happened to a coworker of mine. Most tests are actually free to you and me. Either the insurance company will have to pay for it, or if you go through your county health department, which I've done uh, a couple of times in Wake County, um, they're free. And so if anybody is asking you to pay for a vaccine, uh, I mean, for a test uh, to see whether you have it or not, be very suspicious. There are some places that are saying that they will accelerate the turnaround time uh, if you give them money. And that is very worrying to me because the turnaround time should be very short anyway. And what are they doing? Are they holding off everybody else? Uh, so if that's happening to you, if you're being asked to pay money to get your results back, let my office know because we are investigating a couple of these different testing providers uh, to see if they violated state law. That's good to know. Is there a way that they need to contact you guys? Again, very easy, ncdoj.gov slash complaint, and then the form will pop up. If you want to use the telephone, we have a toll-free number, 877-5-NO-SCAM, 877-5-NO-SCAM. Okay, we definitely want people to know about that. Now, at-home tests have gotten really popular recently. Of course, we know, like with the federal government going out, um, giving out free at-home tests, but that's also led to some fake sites being made. So what should people watch for when they're ordering a COVID test? Well, first, you want to make sure you're getting an FDA-approved test. There are people out there selling tests that are, they aren't any good. They have a very high false positive or false negative um, uh, rate and what you want to do is have an accurate result because you want to know do you have it or not have it because you don't want to get other people infected if you can at all help it so first make sure it's a valid test or one that's effective and then two try to figure out is this a legit website or not uh, i'd be a little nervous about frankly buying them off the internet because it's so easy for criminals to just take a picture of a test put it up and say hey, send me money, I'll send you a test, and you never get the test uh, sent to you. You know, you can go get it at your, you know, store retailer just down the road, or now the federal government is going to start mailing them to you, um, both tests and masks, and that's an extremely positive development in our fight against COVID-19. And uh, switching gears here about price gouging. That was another one of those scams on your list from 2021. So what is the state doing to protect consumers? Price gouging occurs when sellers take advantage of some emergency situation and our desperation as a result to make a quick buck. The law is triggered whenever the governor declares a state of emergency. So actually the law is in effect today because of the pending winter storm. The governor went ahead and declared a state of emergency yesterday in advance so he could draw down some federal funds. But now if the storm hits, let's say, and you power, everybody loses power and folks need to go get food or water or some really important commodity. And there's some seller out there charging an outrageous price, that would be price gouging. And you should file a complaint with my office to let us know because it's imperative that folks not be taken advantage of during during these emergency situations. And look, the vast majority of retailers, sellers, they do the right thing. You know, they'll go bend over backwards to open their doors even when there's a big storm, just so people have a place to go get the food, the milk, the bread, whatever they need to get through the, the bad times. But there are always a few out there who are greedy and they listen to that little devil on their shoulder to make a quick buck. That's when we will take action. And my office has been very aggressive enforcing the law against price gougers, whether it's from a hurricane, COVID-19, when the gas pipeline shut down last spring. Whenever there's an emergency, there's always a couple people who try to make a, that quick buck and we will not permit it. Attorney General Josh Stein, we think, or thank you so much for your time and um, all the information you just gave us. Thanks so much. Thanks. Appreciate it. 
of course. And if you missed any of this information, we'll have it posted in the two wants to know section on our website. Just go to WFMYNews2.com.